Digital Citizenship Introduction. This lesson will answer the essential question of what is digital citizenship? So first, we have Ruff Ruffman here to share a little bit about what types of things you can do online. Ruff Ruffman, humble media genius. Getting the most from the internet. Uh, I'm here to audition for the role of Ruff Ruffman in Humble Media Genius, the musical. Ah, do I really need to do this? I mean, I am Ruff Ruffman, Humble Media Genius. Yes, I know it's the rules. <sighs> well, if I have to do this, I'm going to do it right. Maestro, if you please. Getting the most from the internet, it's the greatest invention ever thought of. You bet! You can make stuff, learn stuff, buy stuff too. Keep in touch with friends, hooray, it's really up to you. So much to do on the internet. There's a million things to give and a billion to get. You can share things, funny things everyone can see. And all your posts are saying, here is something about me. I just saw a video of a fuzzy furry kitten. He climbed inside this tiny box he couldn't really fit in. Then closed his eyes and fell asleep. So cute I couldn't stand it. These animals, they steal my heart. The internet's a bandit. Yeah. Internet is great, no doubt, cause here's what you can learn about. Sweater knitting, baseball hitting, simple plumbing, conga drumming, robot coding, web promoting, banjo picking, magic tricking. Bow tie tying, box kite flying, picture taking, brownie baking, tandem biking, mountain hiking, mushu prepping, sofa schlepping. Keep in touch So many ways to keep in touch So many ways to say so much So many ways to share Keep in touch It's wonderful to keep in touch So easy just to type and such A joy to show I care Here's some stuff about me. Do you like what you see? Here's a poem I wrote, some pictures I took, and here's what I ate, and here's how I look, and here are my thoughts on incredible things on the internet. The rough inside can have wings. So, when do rehearsals start? Now, I'm busy on Tuesdays, and I have a standing Crazy Eights game on Fridays at 2 o'clock. I'd rather not move that if I don't have to. What? I didn't get the part? Well, then who's gonna play me? Chet's gonna play me? Chet? Well, then who's gonna play Chet? <sighs> Pretty good, actually. And all your posts are saying, here is something about me. Like Ruff Ruffman, humble media genius said, there are many great things you can do with the internet, but it does come with some responsibility. These responsibilities are part of digital citizenship.
What is digital citizenship? It is being a good citizen in the digital world. Well, what is the digital world, you might ask? We have two different types of worlds. Like we have the real world and we also have what's called the digital world. Let's take a look at a few examples of each. In the real world, we have things like playing on the playground, answering questions in a classroom, going shopping in a grocery store. Those are all part of what's called the real world. Can you think of more things you do in the real world? Pause the video and have a class discussion. Next, things like YouTube, Minecraft, Schoology, those are all part of what's called the digital world. Can you think of more things you do in the digital world? Pause the video and have a class discussion. So to answer the question, what is digital citizenship? Next, we need to learn, what does the word citizenship mean? Well, citizenship in the real world means being a good person. It means showing respect, having a good attitude, or just helping out. In the classroom, you have to show responsibility by doing your homework on time or listening and following directions. Also, you have to help out your classmates. All of those things make someone a good citizen in the real world. So next, looking at the digital world, what do you think it means to be a good citizen in the digital world? Pause the video and have a class discussion. Being a good citizen in the digital world also means being a good person online. A good digital citizen shows they know how to practice safe, responsible, and legal use of technology. A good digital citizen is someone who understands their responsibilities of using technology and they use it in a positive way. A good digital citizen also creates, shares, tags, comments, plays, and contributes to the online world in positive ways. What ways are you a good digital citizen? Pause the video and have a class discussion. Some ways you can show that you're a good digital citizen. Respect yourself. Show respect for yourself through your actions. Choose usernames online that are appropriate and be sure to act with integrity. Next, protect yourself. Ensure that the information and images you post online are not personal details. Be sure to respect others as well. You will not use technology to bully or stalk people. Protect others. So be sure to report any abuse or inappropriate material for other people as well. And respect intellectual property. That means request permission to use things that other people have made, such as music and videos. Next, Ref Refman is going to show us some of the technology he uses. While you're watching the video, try to think of ways you use technology too. Ruffman, humble media genius. Technology and you. Question. What's your life like with technology? Well, I have my smartphone. I'm a tablet. My tablet. That's a uh, half phone, half tablet. <laughs> and my laptop, my hookup, my Wi-Fi, my hi-fi, my game console, my large screen TV, my cable service, my internet movie service, my GPS, and... This cool thumb drive that looks like sushi. What's that, Blossom? That's real sushi? Wait a minute, then what did I just eat for lunch? Ah, nothing much. Just hanging around. You can find all kinds of great music on the internet. For example, this song perfectly captures the love, the worries, 
the hopes and dreams of everyday life. Chick and Island. Chick and ah, I live my daydreams in music. Still hanging around. Technology has changed maps. Way back in ancient history, roughly 2004, we used paper maps to find our way around. Two-handed texting equals bad idea on trapeze. Today, we have digital maps and GPS satellites, and life is so much better. <laughs> Morning, Jet. Wait, are you still playing Super Mouse 2 Revenge of the Ice Mice? Man, did you even sleep last night? Oh, well, there you go. Yes, technology is amazing! It lets us listen, share, watch, discover, shop, and play like no one in history has ever been able to before. The trick to making the most of it is knowing when it's time. When it's time. It's time to dance! Jet! Music, please. Ah, uh, yeah. Rough, rough, man. Humble media genius. Ruff Ruffman shared many ways that he uses technology. What are some examples of technology you use? Pause the video and have a class discussion. So, before you do anything in the digital world, think, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Next, you'll have the opportunity to make a a slide on PowerPoint that shares some tips for digital citizenship that you know. Here are some examples.
and sources for the PBS videos.